Hey guys. Okay. There is something that I wanted to share with you that I have started to use for my Beachbody business. Um, and when I tell you this, um, if you are a brand new coach, I probably would not use this in the beginning. Um, for one, it does cost money um, each and every month. You do have to have a, a subscription to this. So with that being said, you might not want to watch any further. Um, but it is called Teamsy, and as you can see, you, you just go to Teamsy.com, um, and I would watch all of the videos. Um, you have a 30-day free trial, and this is really just a tracking system to do your power hour, and I am telling you what, this has been so beneficial to me in knocking out my power hour and staying 100% focused making sure that I'm connecting with new people, um, inviting, adding new people to my network, keeping up with my coaches, everything that I'm supposed to be doing um, every single day. Um, because before, you know, I would do it here and there, not on the weekends, and now I knock it out seven days a week. So you can start your free trial. You don't even have to put in a credit card or anything. You can just start your 30-day free trial. So go ahead and try that, but I'm just going to show you how I use it. Um, let me sign in. Okay, so when you open up your screen, first of all, you will be able to import everyone from your Facebook contact list and from your coach online office. So for me, I had my business center, John's Business Center and my second business center to import. It was quick, it was easy, um, and I was done. So that means that all 3,000 plus friends on my Facebook were imported in, in this list. And I'm able to go through and um, talk to these people and it auto populates them. Now, with that being said, you know, it goes through these people um, and I can see, you know, if maybe there's someone that I have already formed a relationship with. And I'll kind of go into that here in just a little bit. Um, so here's how it works. You'll see your dashboard and, you know, you start the day out not having, um, you know, anything because obviously I haven't set out to do any work yet. Um, and then you kind of check off your dailies and I like this too because you know these are the vital behaviors So so far today. I've done my workout. I am drinking my shake as I speak and I've done my personal development I've made a couple posts in Instagram and snapchat and on my like page So I'm good there. So I have done all those vitals and I'm gonna knock out this power hour after I make this video um, so here's what I do next um, I typically will open up um, my messenger because that's how I communicate with people. My market usually communicates better through Facebook Messenger than email. I've tried email before. It's just my people don't respond uh, very well in email. They just kind of get lost in it. So um, I stopped using email as, as far as communication goes with uh, my clients. So here's what I do as far as that goes. So the first thing that you're go going to do is connect with people now and you'll see that for me it says I'm going to connect with five people right here it says connect with five people a day um, and you're probably wondering well how do you know that you need to connect with five people in the beginning it, it asks you you know what are your goals do you have income goals do you have goals like with how many people you just want to connect with every day um, same thing with inviting you'll see the inviting over here um, how many people do you want to invite? Um, mine, is, mine is three. I typically do five. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like as you start inviting people as well. Um, and it populates that for you. And then it kind of tells you your progress here. Okay, so as you go into this and you start connecting with people, I'm just going to go to my customers and, you know, go through um, these people and kind of see, you know, like who I need to connect with and things like that. So here's what I like about it. When you first start, it's just going to populate anybody and everybody. And as I'm looking through these people, like these are 
mostly free customers, uh, which there's nothing wrong with that. We love free customers. You know, they, they join our free groups and we still give them value and we, you know, still send them our newsletters and our emails and, you know, all that good stuff. However, you are able to rate your customers from five to one. And five means they are a loyal Shakeology HD customer. Um, and then one means put them up way low on the list so they don't populate. Okay. Um, you don't have to rank. Actually, I would advise you not to go through and rank everybody. I didn't rank anybody unless like I was already working from a list. So like I know one of my customers right now who is in one of my challenge groups that I need to check in with. So actually I am going to pull her name up and I'm going to go ahead and rank her. So that's what I do. Like you can just search it. So if you already know, like when you first start this and you already know who you need to contact, then just type in their name and then change that ranking as you go through this. Okay. Don't spend hours and hours going through 3000 Facebook friends, um, ranking them. Don't do that. Um, and so then if I want to connect with her, um, which I'm going to do, what I will do is, of course, I'm going to open up my Facebook and I'll go back and do that. Um, I'll open up my Facebook. I'll chat with her, see how her challenge is going. Um, and so I'll connect. Okay. Now it's going to ask me, how did I connect with her? Well, I'm going to connect with her through Facebook. Did I send her an invite? Well, she's already in a group, so no. Um, and I follow up with my challengers each week, each and every week if they're in a challenge group. Now, when they first start, I check up with them um, every two days until they get going and I feel good about it. Um, of course, when they're in the challenge group, I'm able to comment on their stuff and see if they're actively participating in the group. Um, but I at least check up on them every two days, the first um, at least week or two. And then what I can do is I can log that connect. Okay, so now you see it has a follow-up date of 823. So if you're like me in the past, I have said, I'll follow up with you in a week, right? And then you forget or you didn't write it down. Um, this has helped me so much to stay on track with my follow-ups. Okay. So before I show you the follow-ups, I want to show you like here, I can change her because for whatever reason, she's listed as a prospect and not a customer. So I'm going to change her as a customer. So when you go back, to dashboard, and I know I'm going through this quickly, so if you have to pause and rewatch, that's totally fine because I want you to see like how easy this is um, for you to kind of go through this. And click on dashboard. It's gonna show you that I connected with her. So I've connected with one. It's gonna show her as prospect, but that's okay. Um, now, today when I'm ready to go through my follow-ups, I'm gonna click here and it's gonna tell me all the people that I need to follow up with. How awesome is that? And then I just go through there and I knock them all out. Okay. Um, and so I actually followed up with her this morning. So I'm going to go ahead. She's on the ultimate reset. So I am going to check up with her every single day. because That's a tough one. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and log that. Um, and so you'll see here, it tells you how many follow-ups that you've done. Um, so now I've done a total of two connections. Okay. Um, the same thing, like I have a lot of questions with my coaches that will ask, well, what about my new connections? Will it automatically add people from my Facebook? No, it won't. So if you're adding to your network every day, honestly, you probably don't need to be adding any more than three to five people daily. Anyway, if you are, then Facebook usually flags your account. Um, so you're just going to go here where it says add contact. And of course, you can add them as prospect, customer, coach. If I find somebody that I think, <clears throat> excuse me, that I think is really going to be a dream team person, after I add them, I go ahead and rank them as a five. That way, when they populate in um, my dashboard, they're going to populate first. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go back here to dashboard. So what I like about it is if I'm like, gosh, I don't even know who I need to talk to. I really like have nobody to talk to. I can go through here on my prospects and I'm like, okay, I haven't formed her yet. So I know I need to go through and start, you know, looking 
and commenting and liking and, you know, starting conversations um, and building that relationship back up again and do that for a little while. Then I'm going to skip that for a week until I feel like that relationship is built up to where I can send an invite. Um, same thing with a lot of these people. Now, if I feel like I have that relationship, then I can send them an invite, right? Um, but it really helps me because some of these people, like I forgot, were even on my friends list. And I look at them, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm sure she would like to do a challenge group or she would make a good coach. Um, so it really helps you um, as far as when you, um, you pull these people up because, you know, you don't realize. Like, I don't know if you're like me, um, but when I work, I work from Google Chrome and I turn my news feed off so I can stay focused. So I never look at the news feed. So it's very rare that I see new people in my news feed unless I'm, you know, searching out for new connections. So that's what I like about this. Same thing with your customers. I actually need to go through and rank a couple of my customers, like my, my challengers. I try to do that. Like as I go, like I have a couple um, that I've ranked. She's in one of my challenge groups. Yeah, so see, she's ranked a five. I'm going to follow up with her um, on the 29th. I just talked to her yesterday. Um, so I think that covers everything. Um, and then here it populates coaches. I usually check in with my coaches once a week. So these are just coaches that I'll need to talk to Um all my other coaches are listed in my follow-ups because I like to like all of these are coaches. So yeah, all those, those three are coaches anyway. Um, and then your invites, when you invite, like say I'm going to, you know, this is going to be an invite. Well, actually that the follow-up. So let's say that this one is going to be an invite. When I do an invite, I can, you know, of course determine how I invited if it was through, Facebook message or if it was through email um, and then click invite and then was it free group was it a challenge group was it the business opportunity and then you can log that connect once you do it's going to um, populate here to let you know how many invites you sent out um, I always select some type of follow-up now for me I do not let a conversation go more than two days because it gets stale and they lose interest. So for me, I follow up quite frequently um, and that's okay. <laughs> so I, I do recommend that. I do recommend to follow up um, frequently um, and within you know two days, no more than four for sure. Um, but anyway, you can also you know, make notes here. You can go back and look on you know, past activity. Um, you know, when was the last time that I talked to this person? Um, those types of things. Um, but you do need to put like when you click on them and you click connect, whoops, yeah, that's how you actually connect to them and to log it, that's how it would actually log it in there. I'm trying to think. And so this kind of shows your progress as you go along, like, you know, what you got in where. Um, so it looks like I'm pretty consistent on social media and and um, everything else is, my workouts are down, but I only, I'm only i doing max 30, so it's just five days a week, so that's why. Um, let's see if there's any, obviously, yeah, I showed you where you could search. Let me show you if there's something where you can see, like, the connections. If this will show you or not. Let's see, so if I connect here. No, I want to be able to see the feed. Oh yeah, here we go. Activity feed. See, so you can see each time I had a message with her each day. Okay. Now I don't copy and paste my messages in there. Um, some coaches do just to see. I'll just go back to my messenger and kind of, kind of see, you know, as far as, as that goes. So, um, hopefully that helps. Now, um, and I don't know if I told you, but Team Z was created by a Beachbody coach. So this is this is Beachbody. I have tried several different methods to track my business, to stay organized. I've used Streak. I've used Excel. I've used pen and paper. This has been the best system that works for me. It works for me right now. Who knows? Um, a year from now, it may not work anymore, and there may be something different. Um, like I said, the first 30 days is free. After that, it is monthly. It's right at $30 a month. 
Um, where I'm at in my business, it is well worth every penny. Um, like I said, brand new coach, um, probably not worth that to you right now. Um, but to me, it is 100% worth it because at the end of the day, or an hour into it, I can look across this and see what I've done and know what I've done and that I'm 100% complete and that I've made all con my connections. I've popped out all my invites. I've done all my vital behaviors and I can close down and feel good about it and unplug for a little bit. So I hope that that helped you guys um, maybe um, to learn how to stay a little more organized. Maybe it's something that you can look into for your business. If not now, you know, maybe sometime in the future.